Tim Rollinger and John Haymauer. All right, uh, Mr. Horse just mentioned uh, Rollinger and Haymauer. John Smiley Haymauer and uh, Tim Rollinger. Haymauer is from West Bend, Rollinger from Kewaskam. Uh, those two officials will be working the uh, state boys basketball tournament uh, this year. And I think they're somewhat experienced in that area. They've already done that before. And uh, there are a couple of good ones. And uh, if the uh, FRCC did anything right, it's get a, some good officials for uh, this big game tonight. In both games, I might, might add. Well, South comes in six and seven. North nine and four. North uh, seven and one in league play. Their only losses to league leader Pulaski. A big win last week for the North girls up at the pier. South is three and five in league play, Marty. All right, South controls the tip. They have the first possession. South turns it over, and the first turnover. Lizzie Free got a little uh, mention on the uh, Tom Desatel show. Of course, her dad, Billy Free, played on the first uh, Deso team. And her brother, oh, nice back cut and an easy layup and two points. Maddie Bauer. Bauer just uh, starting, I think, kind of early now for her, the junior. You get a foul on, uh, foul on Nicole Rubley. Pushing away with the offhand, and that would go as an off as an offensive foul and another turnover, Chris. And uh, North with a turnover. So far, three turnovers on only two points. North applying the press. Schaefer does lose it. Bauer going in for the layup. Uh, her shot is missed, but she does draw the foul. And not the start that Coach Thomas wants. Three quick turnovers. And two fouls. Sell committed that last one. Bauer will be at the line shooting a pair. I think Chris mentioned, but uh, North comes in nine and four, seven and one in conference. Pulaski is 13 and one on the year and nine and zero in conference. So, uh, in an effort to try and keep pace, uh, this isn't a very important game for North. Yes, Notre Dame and North at seven and one. Notre Dame and North still have to play each other. Another steal. Oh, pushed in the back, got the shot off, but no good. Was Lauren Salzbrenner, and South comes away with the rebound. Good double team. Very good double team. Nowhere to go, and then there's a reach. See, that's what you don't want to do. When you yeah. trap, you want to keep them stuck in that little uh, area there, not reach or anything. Be nice and tall, but that time she slapped down and got the foul. Foul goes on Salzbrunner. That's her first. And a turnover. And we're going to get a walk on Norse. Maddie Bauer. <laughs> mentioned Bauer's name a lot. We <laughs> hardly mentioned her name the first time around. Right. She's been in a lot of the action so far this game. As we mentioned before, uh, South's got a lot of sophomores and North's got a lot of juniors. Nicole Maletsky, a senior. Nicole Rebley, she's playing in her final game. Jaslyn Pozowitz. Yeah, Pozowitz just uh, had a great shot at the basket there but couldn't get it to go. North comes away with the rebound. Bauer with the ball. Bauer with a nice pass. <laughs> Maletsky, no good. Check that Morgan Paris on the three-point attempt. Morgan's made 27 threes already this year. Nicole Rubley for two. That makes it four to two North. Rolling down to the six minute mark of the first quarter. Good job of breaking the press there by the Northsiders. Long rainbow three is up and good by Lauren Salzbrenner. Uh, she's the leading scorer at 11 points a game. That's her 18th three of the year, Marty. Selk breaking pressure, the sophomore, and then she loses it but gets it back. And then she loses it again. Bauer, hard to the hoop. 
The shot is off. Lizzie Free running the break that time. Uh, made a nice pass to uh, Bauer, but uh, was not able to put it up and in. Well, in the first game, the South girls lost to the North girls, 48 to 40. Very uh, good game in the first half, and then the South ladies just kind of went cold and lots of turnovers for them as well. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of a carry not called out on top on Schaefer, or Selk, pardon me. Paris working on Burkhart, bringing it up. Lizzie Free is a junior. Free averaging 10.8, and she gets her first two. Lizzie playing much better of late. Nine to two, North with an early lead. This is not how it was the first time around, like Chris mentioned just before. Yeah, the turnovers are the same though, Marty. And late getting there was uh, free. She's gonna pick up her first fall. We are not up in the press box. There you can see us in the upper corner of your TV screen, upper right corner. That's Chris, keep <laughs> waving. <laughs> there are three radio stations here tonight and three TV stations we decided uh, to head out of the uh, press box and give the rest of those people a little room. And I think we made a good choice. I can actually smell the players down, a little sweat down on the floor <laughs> here. Well, over the back, not called. Coming away with the rebound was uh, Maletsky. And taking it hard to the hoop was Salzbrenner, and she gets fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Jaslyn Puzzowitz picks up the foul. Third team foul on the uh, Southsiders, and uh, there's only, I mean, there's still 4.06 left in the quarter. Paris averaging uh, 9.6 a game. We get a 30 second timeout, 4.06 remaining. Uh, Following this game will be the boys game and in between games will be the introduction of the 86 championship team. Tyler Thomas talking to the troops. What's he telling them, Chris? Take care of the basketball. <laughs> I mean, they have six turnovers in the first four minutes and you're not gonna get anything accomplished, as I said, if you don't get shots off. Um, they gotta take care of the ball. Handle the press. You know, this is why you practice all those hours and you know it's coming. It's how you handle adversity and the pressure, how you'll be successful. Going to the line to take the uh, second of two shots is Salzbrenner. She missed the first, it's nine to two north early on. Make it 10 to two. North applying the full court press, looks like a 2-2-1 zone press, Chris, maybe? Oh, good work of the hands. It right went went right off the uh, South player's foot. But, I uh, saw that, too. Right off of Rachel Smith's foot. Yeah, neither, neither official saw that, so South will get it back. Unfortunate break for North. A fortuitous break for the Southsiders. Shot is missing, and we get a tie-up between... Uh, Kimberly Wyman and uh, Paris. Riley Fullerton, number 42 in the ball game for the Northsiders. And a deep pass to Bauer. Over to Free, back to uh, <laughs> nice passing by the Northsiders. Three point attempt is no good by Salzbrenner. And now they set it up. <coughs> Good running of the break that time, Chris, yes. by uh, North. Another held ball. And South has the possession arrow, so they'll bring it in. Use it all in the ball game. CJ. 
She's the freshman. Yeah. Number 44. Good player. Getting us some experience. She's averaging almost four points a game. And it's going to be Norris basketball. Another turnover by the Lady Red Wings, and they are having a heck of a time. There you see Tyler Thomas, second from the left. Tyler played basketball for uh, South. He's a real good player at CCA. Free has it on top. South Brenner wanted it in the corner. I'm open. Oh, how can you not call that? They boy, did. Oh they called it travel. <laughs> After she got knocked off her feet. Lizzie Free gets a turnover. That's why Salzbrenner didn't get the ball. She wanted to just take it to the rack herself. <laughs> Emily Schaefer under a lot of pressure. And good effort. Ball tipped away. South will keep it. Doing the honors be Rachel Smith, number 20. A deep three is off, no good. And coming away with it was uh, Lauren Salzbrenner. Free pulls up for a 10 footer, can't get it in. And she's gonna get an offensive foul muscling her way to the basket. And that'll be her second, Chris. And we're still in the first quarter, 226 remaining. Maddie Bauer quick into the game for Lizzie. Hustle foul there a little bit. She tried the offensive rebound, but then she just kept her momentum going right into this south player there. Lizzie checks out, she had two points. A deep pass is complete to Wyman. And a three-point attempt is no good. And being strong with the basketball was Salzbrenner getting it up to Bauer. She got it in. 12 to 2. I'll tell you, from 10 to 12 was a long time coming, Chris. North on a nine, eight-point run. And another turnover. Bauer's deep pass to Salzbrenner. She puts it up and in. You need a timeout. 14 to two. Eight turnovers. Nine turnovers. North brings it back out. Use it all had it. Swings it over to Bauer and they swing it around the outside to Fullerton. Oh. And she throws it out of bounds. <laughs> One of the fans, instead of giving it to the official, took a shot and kissed it off the glass. There will be uh, some reprimands for that action. Can't be doing that. Give the ball to the official. Chris Hine over there talking to that uh, young man. He should be escorted out. Well, I think we'll give him, out. A, give him a break this time. And Coach Hine is waiting for the officials to make a decision. That will be the last time, young man. And when I see you Monday morning in my class, we will <laughs> deal with it again. <clears throat> it was cute when it happened. Plus, <laughs> that it was. <laughs> nice work on, nice teamwork. Easy basket that time for Wyman, and they finally break the run by North. 14 to four, 120 wow. remaining. We've seen a lot of things in North-South games, so I guess what that's uncommon. They used to throw tennis balls back and forth, and at the armory. Yeah, I think so. You'd actually have to have a good arm here. <laughs> Fullerton on the rebound, no good. And coming away with the board was Wyman, Kimberly. Under a minute remaining in the first quarter, North on top, 14 to four. Rubley had it on top, gives it up. North in a man-to-man -man defense. And uh, South having a real hard time getting it below the free throw line. They've been out on top the whole while. 
Use it all playing good inside defense on uh, Van Sluis. Rubley guarding the much taller Molly Burkhardt who gets it inside and puts it up and in. Well, when they get shots, I mean, good things happen. That was a good possession there by South. A good work by North to break the press. Made the score a little more respectable. You know, it brought to mind something else about uh, South. Both teams want to press, Chris, but uh, South not able to because they're not scoring any baskets. We're at the end of one quarter of play, North on top, 14 to six. Kid, what's up with you? Let's get up and play. Do something, stop slumping like a lump all day. Get on up, come on, get out the door. Let's shake that booty like never before. Let's run, have fun, let's jump and groove. Get up and get that body up, make it move. Get up, get up, get up, and be a player. Get up, get up, get up. Let's run, have fun, get up and be a player. Get up and play an hour a day. Ouch! Sorry. For cool playtime ideas, go online. Just don't stay long. Personal foul? Inactive activities on a glorious day. Huh? Let's get out there and play! Sweet. Ooh, freeze! When do I get to be in? Uh-oh. Hey, Reggie. Frozen people can't talk. P-L-A-Y! An hour a day. I'm it. There are lots of great play ideas online, but don't stay too long. Be a player. In that first quarter, leading north with six points each was Lauren Salzbrunner and Maddie Bauer. Let me see some of our younger fans. Nice to see those young girls here at the North High watching the girls play. And uh, leading north, uh, pardon me, leading south was Rubley, Kimberly Wyman, and uh, Molly Burkhart. They had two points each. And one little girl was asking her mom, how do I get one of those white, and blue, and gold uniforms? Work hard. Well, Coach Thomas is having a discussion with Smiley over there. Yeah, it looks like it might be a substitution issue. And they're going to keep uh, Wyman in the game. Apparently, uh, the gal that wanted to start the quarter checked in too late. Yeah, Jocelyn Pozowitz, Marty. And uh, if you look on the right-hand side of your screen with his arms folded, that's uh, Mr. Hine. And when he tells you to do something, <laughs> you do it. Well, in the uh, first quarter, North was 5 of 14. Marty had six turnovers. South, 3 of 9. Uh, they did not make a three-point basket. They were 0 for 2. Their, their problem was the nine turnovers. North averaging uh, about, oh, I don't know, 15 turnovers a game. So they're up a little bit, too. They got six. A little nerves probably early on. Bauer outside the line, couldn't get it, but up hard for the rebound for North was a use it all. She got banged into it. She was up in the air. That's kind of dangerous. I thought CJ really did a nice job there. She really went up for that rebound. Kara Salk commits the fall, her second. Usadol has it on top. South playing a man-to-man -man defense also. Thought it was important that South got a couple of those baskets at the end of the uh, quarter yeah. there. Break that uh, run of uh, no baskets. Whoa! Checking in the ball game to start the quarter was Lisa Werner, number 22. And now Puzzowitz comes in and uh, checking out is Selk. Also coming in for North is Salzbrenner. And Morgan Paris taking a rest. North continuing to press. Rubley with a good cross court pass to uh, Puzzowitz, whose shot was missed. Her rebound shot is no good, but uh, committing the foul was uh, used it all. And then he caught just the tail end of the replay. Good job on that carry. Usadel's first. 
and Puzzlewitz making her first trip to the line and South's first trip to the line tonight makes the first free throw. Second one bounces out, it's uh, 14 to seven. Uh, good work by the Northsiders to break the press and getting the easy layup was Lisa Werner. She's one of the three seniors on the North squad. Her and Riley and Nicole Maletsky. Mom and dad are happy about that. And a 10 second count. In some respects, if you're gonna have a turnover, in some respects, Chris, I think it's almost better to get that 10 second call than it is to throw the ball away and give the other team an opportunity for a fast break basket on a steal. Werner had it tipped out of her hands. No comment? No, I agree, that was a good comment. <laughs> Thank you. I need that positive reinforcement. North working the perimeter. Now they have good ball movement tonight, Marty. Really swinging it. We <laughs> use it all from the ear. Knocks it home. Yep. And cash in on the basket. Good job on offense by North. Today. They're really swinging the ball. <clears throat> there you see it from way downtown. Dango. <laughs> Puzzlewitz. Knocks home a two-pointer. 19-9. Good swing. Use it all, gonna get called for the walk. Right idea, you shot the three before so the uh, South player came out on her and she drove to the basket. Problem was she... Uh, and then use it all commits a fall. <laughs> Didn't put it on the floor quick enough. I was just thinking, Chris, you know how in, in, in NASCAR, the racers have all those ads stamped all over their jerseys and stuff? You know, what if they allowed high school players to uh, sponsor things? You know, we could have use it all's hairstyles. <laughs> Or the Churchills, more than just soccer when they were here. Three-pointer is good by Emily Schaefer. Yeah, both Churchill girls finishing up their career. Yeah, and they had great careers, yeah. Oshkosh and lacrosse. And we're gonna get an offensive foul on Al Ritchie. And a tie up. South will keep it. They have the possession arrow. Maddie Bauer in there again. Imposing her will. Pretty good crowd piling in. Yep, big night tonight here at North. Uh, turnover. Nice pass. Bauer chases it down. Layup is good. Getting away again. South was creeping, but uh, all of a sudden, a couple turnovers and easy baskets for North, and they extend it back to 13. Bauer has eight points. Oh, Puzzlewitz with a turnover. 4-16 remaining in the first half. North on top, 25-12. to And uh, they are currently on a six-point run. South actually had a five point run a little earlier, Chris, when Puzzlewitz made a basket and uh, Emily Schaefer followed that up with a three pointer. North uh, is just more comfortable handling the ball. I mean, you know, they, they handle pressure better. Uh, three point attempt is no good by Paris. 
Werner made a good look when the screen was set by Parise. She was looking for the back cut, but Morgan stayed out for the three-point attempt. But I think uh, the better option would have been to cut to the basket. Yeah, Morgan likes to shoot them. Puzzowitz fouled. I think Werner. they're going to Maletsky here. Boom. Is that Maletsky or Werner? Nope, you're right. Again. Wait, wait. Again. Wait. Oh. Wait for it. <laughs> Maletsky. You were right. Yes, I was. It's about time. Yeah, she gets the foul, and Lisa gets the smashing into. Puzzowitz knocks home a free throw. She's made two of three. See if she can make it three out of four. Yeah, I think the house is going to be full tonight, Marty. 25 to 14. Earlier action, the... Uh, I believe the freshman girls for South won by a point. Yep, in overtime that and was. And the JVs for North won. It's been a little sweet revenge tonight for, or, or today I should say, for uh, South. Because uh, they did not have a good go of it the first time around. Salzbrenner with a nice drive and a basket. 27 14. Rachel Smith, who made that one? Pozowitz. She's my head getting down hot. For just a second. Yes, she is. Made two of the last three shots. Eight points, all in the second quarter. Staying within 10. 240 left. Whoop, whoop. That's out of bounds. <coughs> right against the uh, Golden Raiders screen on the score, score table. There you see it. Must have been tipped by South. North will keep it. Oh boy. Drive down Main Street is no good. Nice drive to the basket though by uh, Paris. She was ridden down all the way down there though. Wyman was on her back. That wild shot is no good. And then a couple of fouls but nothing called. And then they get a travel called. Wow. wow. Carly Wyman got a good reach in there, but wasn't called for the fall. But North gets a turnover. Richie and Burkhardt check in. Burkhardt for South. Okay, good defense played in there by uh, Al Ritchie, number 10. Oh, nice pass. And a nice kiss off the glass by Kimberly Wyman. South making a bit of a comeback. 27-19. North. Well, they've done this before, and then North went on their run. See if South can get a stop, but Salzbrenner. Salzbrenner, a long two-pointer. Oh, I'm sorry. I was already writing a three, Marty. Yeah, it must have been close. 29-19. And another 10 second call. North playing the good full court D. 14 turnovers, minute 40. Oop, a <laughs> little grab of the shirt, not called. Good job, Rubley. Don't let him see you, and it's okay. Jeff Wolf in the house. Jeff Wolf. <laughs> And a turnover by the Northsiders. Oh, Jeff Wolf's coming over. We just mentioned you, Jeff. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Nice to see you. <laughs> Get him on TV. Yep. Buy it. Go to Dairy Queen in the Falls. <laughs> Another advertisement. Oh, good save. Smith has it. Ooh. Nice catch. Rubley has it back. Taking it inside and then... Uh, Blocking her path, but committing the foul was uh, Maddie Bauer. That's going to be the eighth, Marty, so that means bonus time for the Lady Red Wings. Down by just 10. 
You know, South committed four early fouls. Matter of fact, uh, three of the four were committed in the first quarter, and uh, they are still sitting at four fouls, so they've done a good job in that regard. Rubley puts that one in. For Nicole, that's her third point of the night. She had the first uh, South basket early in the first quarter. Twenty nine twenty one, only an eight point lead now by the Lady Raiders. Back cut by Werner. And then she gets called for the travel. But I think she did the right thing, Chris. And we mentioned that about when, when Paris set the the screen but stayed out for the three pointer instead of cutting back door. That time uh, Werner read the back cut. But the South played good defense, I guess. Yep. That's the eleventh turnover on the uh, excuse me, North. Oh, that's a lot too. Well, nice a good shot. move to the middle of the lane by Molly Burkhart. Wow. There's two of two on the floor. 29-23, under a minute. Coach Thomas has got to like this run here. He's got to ask her girls to step up and play some D. Six points going in at half is not so bad considering things started off so slow down 14 to two. Salzbrenner made a nice move in the lane but couldn't get the shot to go. Coming away with it is Emily Schaefer. We haven't seen Lizzie Free much with her two fouls. That's hurt North. That's oh, good cut in front of the receiver. Maddie Bauer picks off the pass. Salzbrenner, short jumper. No good, nice rebound by Van Sluis. Six, five, four, short. No good, and no good, no shot on that last one after the horn. And we're at halftime here at uh, Sheboygan North Security Fieldhouse with the Lady Raiders on top, 29-23. Enclave. It's a minivan to the max with features like remote control sliding rear doors, 150 cable channels, a full sky view roof, temperature controlled cup holders, and the six point navigation system. It's the minivan for families on the go. Explore her grandeur. Appreciate her beauty. Protect her for tomorrow. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries. Call 877-2-RECYCLE or visit us online at calltorecycle.org. Everyone has friends. There's online friends. Friends to go out with on a Saturday night. Friends to hang out with and do nothing. Friends who show up on moving day. And then there are the friends who'll be there if someone is dealing with a mental illness. Are you one of those friends? Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. America, service learning is grades and their communities by
the uh, game. Uh, it was quite amazing just to watch it. Paul Brown doing the announcing. He, of course, the famous hockey announcer. And then I watched the show today, Marnie. It was just an outstanding job. There's Coach Tom. has got to be happy only down by six, but just a great production done by you guys, and just simply amazing how, how well it turned out. It, it really was nice, Mike. Scott uh, Maloff gets most of the credit for that. Uh, I did a lot of research and got things in, but uh, he did a lot more to uh, add to it. A nice, easy basket that time off the inbounds for Morgan Paris and uh, North off and running here in the third quarter. Morgan's and first. Lizzie free right out of the gates, picks up her third foul. I was just going to say that was Morgan's first basket. She's just one of five tonight. Uh, North now up to 30. It's 30. 13 for 28 shooting. South in that first half was 8 of 20. Uh, they had 15 turnovers, but they hit two threes as well as North. And there's one. Yeah. Rubley's shot is short. And they're letting a play in there, Chris. And I think we like that a lot better than the first go around with these two because they seem like both teams are in the bonus, you know, well into the first quarter. By the way, some first half scoring for uh, North. Salzbrenner had 10, Bauer had eight to lead uh, their teams. For uh, South, Jaslyn Puzowitz had eight all in the second quarter to lead uh, the Southsiders. Rubley, Burkhart, Kimberly Wyman all chipped in with four and uh, Schaefer hit a three. All righty, 7-10 and counting. North on top, 31-23. South playing the tough D. Free remains in the ball game with her three fouls. She didn't see a great deal of action that first half, Chris, picking up those two fouls in the first quarter. Oop, ball tipped out of bounds. Jeff Wigdall almost taking a header. Jeff a lacrosse grad. We actually were there at the same time. He's a pretty smart guy. He came to Sheboygan to work. <laughs> North working clock in the third quarter. Well, I really like their ball movement tonight, Marty. Much better than the first time we saw him. And saw Rainbow Brenner. shot. She's now five of 10 from the floor, Marty. Two of four from out there and three, and she's having a very nice ball game. 13 points. And a steal by North. Tell you that North side is full tonight. Yeah. Lizzie Free hard to the basket, scores two. It's just her third shot attempt, Marty. Oh, we. Oh, she foul does have trouble. Four. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's that's it right there. And all of a sudden it's 36-23. North starts the uh, third quarter on a seven-point run. Free comes away with the loose ball. And a good kick down. Nice save by Maletsky. And she had the right idea, just made the wrong pass trying to get it to uh, Salzbrenner on the cut to the hoop. You know, Marty, this has kind of been there you go. Tone of the basketball game, Marty. There you see that three. Nice replay. I was going to say, it seemed like uh, South pulls within six, seven, or eight, and then all of a sudden North goes on a run. And then they come back and pull within six, seven, and eight, and then North goes on a run. But South just can't get any closer. That three helps. It cuts it to ten. But they got to stop the runs of North if they're going to be oh, in this one. Good move inside. But uh, Maletsky not able to finish. Puzzlewitz, bango! Now just like that, they're down by seven, Marty. Now it's time for North to run their, on their run. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that three-point shot you know, really makes a difference. Pick up ground so quickly. Salzbrenner, nice touch. She came into the game shooting 48%, Marty, and she's well above that right now. She's six of 11. 
South uh, does get it across before time. Wow, there's some scrapping going on in there and Selk is doing most of it. Kara Selk, just a sophomore. She's a battler. Yep, she's uh, averaging about five points a game. I have got her for 5.3 a game. And again, North doing a good job of breaking the press. Salzbrenner had a wide open three but didn't take it early in the possession. Free from outside the line, knocks it home. It's her 15th three of the year. <laughs> you know, you are a prophet. <laughs> South ran off two threes, six points, and now North has scored five in a row. Well, it's, well, it's just like kind of how it's been the whole game. Puzzlewitz. Oh, had a nice look at the basket, but couldn't get it to go down. North on the break. Salzbrenner taking it hard to the hoop. Lays it up and in. Wow. No answer yeah. for that. She's on fire and a good timeout by Coach Thomas. As he sits there as the... Salzbrenner with 17 points. I was going to say, he's sitting there just wondering what, what to do next. Getting close, getting close, and then all of a sudden North goes on those runs. Yeah, it's uh, it's been back and forth. When I look at the at the third quarter, we've got a seven point run by North, a six point run by South, and presently we're on another seven point run by the Northsiders. The longest run of the night happened back in the first quarter when North ran off ten in a row. It was uh, four to two North, and all of a sudden it was fourteen to two. And uh, really from that point on, it's been north the whole way. Richard Bartson up on top, giving you that shot. Kerry Kautzer is our director tonight. He's in the truck spinning the dials. Eric Wiesman on the bottom camera gave you that nice shot of our uh, cover for the uh, Sheboygan North basketball, the Tom Desatel years. Chris Wright. My partner is the color man, and I am the play-by-play -play guy, not Ron Franklin. <laughs> I'm just uh, watching more and more people pile into the uh, stands now on the south side. There's going to be a little overlap, probably some uh, both side people. Bauer with a nice steal, Chris. Salzbrenner, bango! She's 4-4 four of four and a quarter, Marty. 20 points. Whoops. 3 of 3. 46, 29. How many baskets does uh, Lizzie Free have here? In the two, point, two baskets in this quarter. One of them was a three. Yep. So I was right. That's four of four in a quarter for Salzbrenner, correct? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yipper. 46, 29. And Puzzowitz, I think that was Puzzowitz. No, Kimberly, Kimberly Wyman. Wyman. Yipper. Sorry about that. We are at the end of the court. Well, you saw earlier in the game, I pointed us out, and sometimes when they're on the far basket, it's a little more difficult for us to see. And when they're at this basket, it's still difficult to see because then it's too close. <laughs> so I got us covered, Chris. Of course, you tell me all spring I can't see <laughs> when I'm umpiring for your baseball team. Oh, so Renner almost got another one. Ooh, nice strong rebound by Rachel Smith. Rubley with a double dribble. She was looking to go to the hoop, but uh, got called for the illegal dribble. Checking in for the Northsiders is Riley Fullerton. Maletsky takes a seat. Wow, I'm impressed. Bauer taking it hard, gets fouled by Jaslyn Puzzowitz. For Puzzy, that's only her second. Oh, 
Well, we talked earlier, Marty, that North played six ranked teams this season. And uh, that's quite impressive out of 13 uh, ball games they've played. Uh, What's their uh, ranking, power ranking for schedule? Yeah, exactly. Their RPI has got to be up there. I mean, they played Dominican, which is undefeated. They played Vincent. Janesville Parker, which is a very strong program down in their place. They played Oostburg. Beat them. Uh, they're ranked 15th. Pulaski. De Pere. Uh, so they've played Notre Dame is still coming, so that's going to be another ranked team. And I think they'll play Pulaski before the season's out, right? I think they played them already. Okay. Ooh. Puzzlewitz went hard to the floor. South keeps it. Under two minutes left in the quarter. I was talking, well I mentioned I was talking to Tyler Thomas before the game and he was saying that uh, Pulaski is just unreal how good they are. Smith with a three. Cuts it to 14 with a minute and a half left, Marty. Quarter number three. Still a ball game. Use it all snuck in the game when we weren't looking. Morgan just can't get that shot today. And Puzzwitz gonna pick up another foul. Jaslyn with her third, second of the quarter. Fullington there had good position. And we're gonna get a timeout. It's a 30 second timeout, so we better keep it here, Kerry. Uh, you're right, I think uh, the place is filling up more than it has uh, some of the other north-south games that we've uh, covered. Well, right to our right or across the way for you people who are on TV, across from the bench here, uh, where the north bench is, they're gonna bring in the 86 team and they were over at Briscoe County tonight having some uh, dinner and they'll be uh, introduced shortly. See Aubrey Koistra sitting over there behind the north bench with his wife and his dad, Mark. Aubrey part of the show. Yes. Yeah, all those north kids went to went to went to whiz kids if you're gonna play north basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Aubrey could play himself and still he can. He still can. <laughs> oh my. He when he wants to, he can really go. Uh, I like playing with him because a couple weeks ago we were playing and it got down. We needed one more basket to win, and he says, clear it out for Marty. I thought it was because he passes to you once every five trips down or something. Yeah, and that's a lot more than anybody else, including you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we hardly ever get to play together. Yep. A well, steal by South. Nice interception by Wyman. That's the second turnover in a half. You're for, kidding. For North, yep. Wow. wow. Taking care of the basketball much better. From that first. Good inside feed. Oh, oh. showered arm that easy shot. Kimberly Wyman. South to 3 of 14 in the uh, quarter, Marty shooting. So, first half it was turnovers, now it's poor shooting. The ball went right into the uh, scorer's table, and Bill Wagner was the first one to get out of the way. Leroy Hamilton here. Yeah, Leroy's Co in the house. Coach of Sheboygan Falls. Ladies. He's really done uh, big things with that program. Lee. South just 4 of 16 in the quarter. Marty 25% for the game. They're 12 of 36. North had a great quarter shooting 70% in the third. Shot is no good by Rubley. South comes away with it. Wyman's shot is off. Rebound, puck back is good by Van Schluis. Van Schluis. I was gonna say about the four for 16 in the quarter certainly isn't very good, but at least they're getting the shot attempts. Yep, but there was another example. They got the basket, but it took them three attempts. Good effort on their offensive rebounds to give themselves a chance there. South commits the foul. Van Schluis. North up 12. It's uh, South's turn to make a little bit of a run, Chris. Oh, good help defense. Way to get over there, Molly Burkhart. 
12 point game. It's not out somebody of open. Oh. Wide open was Kimberly Wyman, and she called for the ball, and they threw it to her, but it was uh, tipped away. Oh, they didn't get, oh, I apologize. I thought. Yeah, I thought actually it was thrown right out of bounds, too. But uh, they're giving it to South. Rachel Smith is going to throw it in. North continuing in a man-to-man -man defense. South trying to find an answer. Shot from up on top is no good. You're right, boy. South is really struggling to put the ball in the basket as Van Schloos puts one in. There's a good replay, and here you see the easy basket. That's three offensive rebounds in the first two minutes here for South, giving themselves extra chances, and because of it, they got baskets. They got to keep that up through the whole quarter and fight, fight, fight. Still down by 10, and we're at the 6.03 mark. Not a lot of fouls in this half. Been pretty clean. I don't know, they're talking to uh, Paris, and uh, she's having issues with something. She's a really good softball player. I mentioned it before, she's got a great arm. Whoops. That uh, could have been a big turnover. Yeah, really. North has a 10 point lead, just rolling under six minutes left in the ball game. Free with that foul trouble all night. Taking it hard to the basket. Good job by Lizzie. Watch this. Taking it right to the rack. Using that left hand, huh, Marty? You gotta love that. Of course, maybe she's a left-hander. Let's see this here. Nope, she's a righty. Free has seven points, looking for number eight. Bricked a pair of them. Puzzowitz with the rebound. Well, North came in uh, shooting free throws, you know, at 63%. But not great shooting, but uh, going to need a little better if they're going to close this out. Rubley's shot is no good. Chance and, uh, for another offensive rebound. Yeah, another scrum on the floor, too. This one's going to stay with the Southsiders. He didn't sound very sure. Oh, yeah. I'm, I looked up on the board. <laughs> Cheating again, huh? <laughs> 48-38, North on top. South trying to uh, close that gap. Three-point attempt again rolls off, and uh, Free chases down the loose ball. 5.20 remaining in the ball game. Salzbrenner trying to take it in to two Lady Red Wings and uh, just couldn't get it to go. And then Werner with the uh, pickoff. Whoops. Whoops. Now we got it. Werner open from three-point land. Couldn't get it to go. Salzbrenner chases down the uh, offensive rebound. Lizzie Freeze attempt is no good. Paris. Ugh. She wants a basket. Yeah, she's only got one tonight. I should say another one. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. She's one of eight. She's coming in at one of those ladies that's averaging about 10 points. And here comes some of the players here. Hey, Chris. When I look through my score sheet here, I don't have her for any baskets. There you see Big Kurt Portman's in the house. Yep, Todd Decker. Todd Decker there you him. see Todd right in your screen. Yeah. Coach of Sheboygan Luther. Portman in the brown coat right yep. behind him. Very successful career at the University of Wisconsin. Lives in Texas. Played in the uh, what used to be the CBA or the uh, what now is like the D-League. That wouldn't be like over at Cooper, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're like the... U League or something. <laughs> Underachievers or <laughs> underplaying. Paris with the steal. North has it back with a 12 point lead. Good swing. See those swings? 
I think he gets somebody yeah. in the middle, though. There's nobody in there. Puzzowitz blocking uh, Maletsky's way. They're battling inside. Maletsky got away with a walk. Shot was no good. And then Free with a steal. And a foul inside. I think we're going to get uh, Kimberly Wyman on that one. That's uh, Kimberly's second. No baskets so far for North in the quarter, Chris. Got almost four minutes in. They do have two free throws. Make it three. It hasn't been a big scoring quarter so far. No, South's just two of seven. Yeah, four from points. The floor and, uh, North is O of whatever. Three. O for three, and they do, uh, they've do. they made three out of uh, five free throws so far. They get four out of six. It's 52 to 38. Ever since that uh, 10 point run in the late in the first quarter, it's been North in the lead the whole way. Back and forth, back and forth, but never getting close to that really Actually, scares when I North. Look, when I look back on my sheet, the North scored the first four points and they've led the entire game. But uh, they ran, they've been starting to run away with it. Comfortable lead in that late first quarter. So they've never trailed in the ball game. Well, it was 14 to two, correct? Yeah, right. What? It was four to two, a 10 point run, made it 14 to two, and uh, from that point on, it's been uh, North with a comfortable lead. And with three, 54 remaining in the ball game, North on top by 14, 52 to 38. That's the 11th three-pointer for North, or excuse me, South. They've made only four. They've missed four in the quarter here and they need those threes. Bauer taking it to the rack. Couldn't get the roll that time. She had a couple of those in the first half that rolled in for her, but not, uh, not on that attempt. And then uh, committing the foul was Kara Selk. Yeah, Maddie Bauer very active in that first half. Very quiet in the second half. Reese will be on the line. She made two a couple of minutes ago. Coach Decker's waving us, Marty. <laughs> Him and Kurt Portman sitting together. There's a lot of height there. Yeah, really. Kohler had the tallest coaching staff in the state a few years ago when Joe and Jeff were <laughs> tag teaming were it. Tag teaming it. Get Porty as an assistant. They blow everybody <laughs> away. As I mentioned before, all the 86 team is here except John Tharp, he's a coach. He coaches, I believe, at Hillsdale, Hillsdale in yep. Michigan. Yep. And Troy Rudolph. Oh, nice shot by Jaslyn Puzzowitz with a deep three. Puzzy. 52, pardon me, 54, 41. Uh, South hanging in there, Chris, and there's still 317. They're not out of the woods yet. There's Coach Decker and Portman, and there's Kenny Muth in the glasses. He had an outstanding year as well as the next year. He went and played at Parkside. Gene Coles yeah. at the bottom of your screen with the glasses, and then right above him is Dave Simmons. There's Steve Coles. He was a starting guard in the left corner there, and his wife. Steve Coles starting guard. He got a little uh, FaceTime and uh, talked about on the show. Yep. Hey, if you haven't seen the show, Make uh, arrangements to see it. <laughs> it yeah. turned out really nice. My wife and I were flying back from Arizona yesterday and uh, we watched it on the plane. Really? Scott sent the files so I could take a look at it. So you watched it 10 times since it's over three hours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can almost <laughs> recite it. <laughs> Long flight. <laughs> <laughs> Not long after 10 times of watching. I'll tell you what was pretty nice though, was on the golf course in shirt sleeves and shorts yesterday. What? Huh? Huh? There's Salzburg. Salzburg, nice replay carry again. You are in a zone in the truck, baby. Salzburg are five of seven shooting here in the second half. You know, one thing we couldn't call carry though, we can't call him a diaper dandy. <laughs> <laughs> Too much gray hair. He's been doing this a long time and uh, for you folks out there, he was here way in the beginning and doing 
these games. Star cable days. Yeah, and it was, uh, you know, the 86 games. I saw some of the highlights that they had. and Very impressive, you know, how long they've been here and dedicated. There's Tom Fogel. He's now walking across. He also, he'll come into your screen in a minute. He was in the show as well. He's going to come right now. Puzzlewitz. There he is, Tom Fogel. The black there. Hey, he played with us a little bit on Wednesday night. His team was practicing before we got the gym, and uh, he stuck around. We had nine. He played a game. Doesn't quite have the hang time he used to. <laughs> he went up on one side of the basket, tried to sail over to the other side, and uh, just couldn't, didn't quite have enough. Of course, at least he used to have enough. Yeah. Two and a half minutes left here, 14 point lead for North. South just can't get close. And uh, the clock is now the enemy of the team in the red shirt and shorts. And Lizzie Free making a good decision. She could have taken that shot, but instead uh, elected to pull it out and run some clock. And then uh, Rubley is going to pick up a foul on Paris. For Nicole, I've got her for two fouls. And that was uh, foul number nine. So Paris with the one and one. Puzzlewitz with a nice rebound off the missed free throw. Oh, Lizzie Free with a good anticipation. There's Brad Simmons there with his parents. Larry Campman's here tonight. There, Cam in a caller. He's looking for Coach Wolf. Hey, he had a season as a JV coach out there when I was coaching the girls. 20 and 0. I don't. I shouldn't say. I don't know exactly what the record was, but they were undefeated. First time ever for a JV team. He's been there a long time coaching and a very, very good football official as well. Yeah, he's been. Whenever doing we that have for questions about different things, he's one of the guys we go to to help us out. Because then he always goes over to Retzak and asks him. <laughs> What is that? Free on the line. Now Lizzie had trouble the last trip. She was 0 for 2. Knocks one in there. We're not quite sure how this is going to work after the game, fans, because you know, they have this uh, introduction of the 86 team, and I know Chris wants to get a couple of the girls from uh, the winning team, interview them, so we'll just have to wait and see how that works. Hopefully the girls can get right over and... Uh, Try to get a couple of the 86 players, too, to yeah, come and talk, yep, too. If yep. Maybe we'll have to do our intro maybe during the game. We'll see if we can get some of those players as well. Um, see if I can get some of those guys. That talk to them about their experiences. Puzzlewitz trying to uh, make the save, but couldn't. And another turnover by uh, South. North on top, 58 to 42. It's 22 turnovers now for uh, the Lady Red Wings. William North really done a good job of taking care of the ball. They've only had uh, four turnovers in the half when they started with 11. So they are right at their average of 15. And a good oh, basketball team nice to take work. care of the ball. Paris with a basket. Finally. Tough night for her from the floor. An 18 point lead by North. You know, it was a closer game than this. But uh, North just uh, whittling away and getting some hoops and uh, I think they're going to have a turnover. That one's going to go on Schaefer. Couldn't quite handle a dribble. Werner checking back in for Bauer. South just shooting 33% uh, from the floor. North had a good night from the floor, Marty. Oh boy, I'll tell you, North just does a nice job of breaking the press until right there when Werner had it taken away. One minute left. North running clock, they have an 18 point lead. They're gonna win this game. And Free gets called for the travel before she got the shot off. Werner hustling right to the end and turnover by uh, South. Years ago, 
52.6 seconds remaining. Oh boy, getting a timeout here by South. Trying to get a timeout by South. Oh. They didn't get it. You gotta pull a Bobby Knight and run down and tap the sh referee on the shoulder. Well, there's 50 seconds left by 18, just. Megan Bellinger in the ball game, number 34. Get it up there, Megan. She oh, did. Uh, yeah, it's the right thing. Use it all back in the game. Fifth rebound for Puzzlewitz as we're under 30 seconds. Carly Wyman in the game for uh, South along with uh, Erica Trum. Kate Risto in for the Lady Red Wings. Shoot it! Off the good. Risto almost with the rebound. She got up there nice. Rubley off the glass, no good. Werner with the rebound and that's the ball game. Lady Raiders with a win, 60 to 42. Well, we're gonna take a short break. Hopefully Chris will have a couple of girls. To